well friend this is our english period and today we are going to learn one poem that is the tale of custard the dragon so it is a poem but actually it is a ballad ballad means what ballad is the poem which narrates the tale of courage or heroism so you might know the word for ballad is powada so you might have heard many powadas of chhatrapati uh, shivaji maharaj sambhaji maharaj okay so that is what the ballad it narrates the heroism means bravery that it narrates the poet of the this poet is fredrick nash who is american poet uh, he is famous for light verse and producer of humorous poetry so he have, he has produced many humorous poetry so which contain some humor in the poem okay this is also one of one type of humorous poetry and uh, here you know that very well dragon dragon is very very cruel and very dangerous animal means suppose we compare to other animals it is very dangerous and uh, one can you know afraid of dragon but here in this poem poet you know depicts the dragon in a different way it is a very timid dragon it afraid of afraid rather than in his black kitten mouse dog he is timid than this all very very small and tiny and delicate animal so so you can say it is a very humorous poem because the dragon which is very mighty strong and very powerful animal which depicted in this poem a timid creature okay very timid creature so this is very humorous poem so in this poem we are going to learn four characters belinda is a very small girl lives in a, a little white house and she has some pets four pets ink blink mustard and custard okay poet has very nicely depicted the words here ink blink mustard custard so very nicely uh, poet has taken the names so ink is a black kitten in this house blink is a gray mouse mustard is a yellow dog <coughs> and custard is a dragon and poet has said in this poem that this black kitten is very powerful very brave blink that is gray mouse also very powerful brave mustard also yellow dog he is also very powerful and brave but custard looking so powerful but not brave he is very timid that exactly poet has says in this poem and then there is there comes certain climax in the poem and where everybody understands that oh he is more powerful than anyone but they don't show that okay then custard agree that okay we all are very brave but you are more than brave but you all are more braver or more brave than me yeah it he admits so we'll see the poem actually uh, just see this poem written in a style of ballad already i have uh, said you a song or a poem that tells a story you must be familiar with the ballads that uh, narrates tells of the uh, courage or heroism and this is the poem is humorous ballads closely to a parody parody means what imitation now what we will do we will first listen the poem we will read out the poem loudly Belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and a little grey mouse and a little yellow dog and a little red wagon and a really a truly a little pet dragon now the name of the little black kitten was ink and the little grey mouse she called him blink and the little yellow dog was sharp as mustard but the dragon was cowed and she called him custard custard the dragon had big sharp teeth and spikes on top of him and scales underneath mouth like a fireplace chimney for a nose and really a truly a dragon on his toes belinda was as brave as barrel full of bears and ink and blink chased lion down the stairs Mustard was as brave as tiger in the rage but custard cried for a nice safe cage 
Belinda tickled him, she tickled him unmerciful. In blink and mustard, they rudely called him Percival. They all sat laughing in the little red wagon at the Relio Trilio Cowardly Dragon. Belinda giggled till they shook the house. And Blink said, Wick, which is giggling for a mouse. Ink and mustard rudely asked his age when custard cried for a nice safe cage. Suddenly, suddenly they heard a nasty sound and mustard growled and they all looked around. Meuch cried Ink and oh cried Belinda, for there was a pirate climbing in the window. Pistol in his left hand, pistol in his right, and he held in his teeth a cutlass bright. His beard was black, one leg was wood. It was clear that the pirate mean no good. Belinda pelled, and she cried, help, help. But mustard fled with the terrified yelp. Ink trickled down to the bottom of the household. And little mouse bling strategically mouse showed. But up jumped custard, snorting like an engine, clash his tail like iron in the dungeon. With a clatter and clank and a jiggling squirm, he went at the pirate like a robin at a mom. The pirate gapped at the Belinda's dragon and gulp some pro grog from his pocket flagon. He fired two bullets but they didn't hit and Custer gobbled him every bit. Belinda embarrassed him, mustard licked him, no one mourned for his pirate victim. Ink and blink in glee and garret around the dragon that ate the parrot. But presently, up, up spoke little dog mustard. I had been twice as brave if I had been blustered. And up spoke ink and up spoke blink. We had been, we would have been three times as brave, we think. And Custer said, I uh, quite agree that everybody is braver than me. Belinda still lives in her little white house. With her little black kitten and her grey, little grey mouse, and her little yellow dog and her little red wagon, and her real yo trillio little pay dragon. Belinda is as brave as barrel full of beers and ink and bling chase loins down the stairs. Mustard is as brave as a tiger in the rage, but custard keeps crying for a nice safe cage. So this is a very lengthy poem, but it is not that difficult poem. Why? Because in this poem, one tale, one story has been depicted. So this is not very difficult poem for all of us. It is like um, something, um, you know, that poet wanted to tell us that the person who looks so timid, looks so afraid, maybe at the situation he can become very toughest. He can show his strength at the right condition, right situation. That exactly poet wanted to convey in this poem. But actually, even though he's a stronger, he's very mighty, but he wanted to find out some small little cage to or small place to live in. Okay. Nice safe cage he wants. Why? Because he is very timid. He wanted to hide himself somewhere. That poet has said. So we'll see one by one, line by line meaning of the poem. So Belinda lived in a little white house. Belinda is a very small girl and who is living in a very white house, very little white house with four uh, her pets. So which are the ink, blink, mustard and custard. These are the four pets she had in a very small little house which is white house. So already I have told you that ink means black chitin, then blink means grey mouse, mustard means yellow dog and custard means a dragon. Already you know dragon means what. And with a little black kitten and a little grey mouse and a yellow dog and little grey wagon. And a real yo means really, truly little pet tra 
dragon actually uh, it is not digestible that we can't digest that dragon can be somebody's pet right tiger can be somebody's pet it is possible because we have seen some you know some people have uh, you know big tiger or uh, lion as their pet but dragon can be a pet it's 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 something you know hyperbole we can't uh, see in the reality but it is it is there in the poem because poet has poetic license they can predict they can do anything so in the first stanza what exactly poet says poet says about the belinda and her four pet in the second stanza now the name of the little black kitten was ink now she is telling the name of the pet already i have told two times third more ink black kitten blink gray mouse mustard yellow dog okay and custard miss dragon now the name of the little ki black black kitten was ink and a little gray mouse he called him blink and the little dog was sharp as mustard sharp as mustard but the dragon was coward coward means very timid and she called him custard so she has put she has put some names for uh, to her pets custard the dragon had big sharp teeth you know that physical features of the dragon they are very you know very dangerous dangerous looking animal so here in the third stanza poet wanted to describe the dragon here custard the dragon had big sharp teeth teeth are very big and sharp also a spike of on top he top of him and scales underneath spikes also were there and scales under the underneath mouth like a fireplace fireplace like fire if he you know spit something then it will come out fire will come out chimney for nose and really your trillo dragger on his toes okay and he is what very sharp pointed bars on his toes okay now belinda was as brave as barrel full of beers beers you know beer is one of the barrel one of the animal and full of barrel means many uh, you know bear will come together and that much mighty belinda is and ink and blink chase lions <coughs> down the stairs and they are miss ink and blink are very mighty like uh, lion they can chase the lion like that they are mustard was a brave as tiger in the rage you know if you see tiger okay normally when uh, tiger tiger is in normal position he is very silent but when he is in rage rage means rage means uh, very anger and when he becomes so angry that time how it uh, it would be like that mustard mustard dog will be like a uh, tiger who is in rage rage means what anger but custard cried for a nice safe cage but at the on the other hand custard who is a dragon actually he is very ferocious animal or he is very dangerous animal risky animal but here in this poem poet has depicted him like a very timid and that is why he doesn't uh, show his uh, bravery but he wanted to uh, find out one cage nice safe cage so to all these three animals see uh, poet has depicted in a different way and dragon who is actually very strongest tough and strong animal but it has been depicted like a very timid and very uh, delicate animal belinda tickled him she tickled him unmerciful now just see there are certain scales on the body of the uh, dragon we can see but belinda what she does she tickle on his on her uh, on its skin so actually it is not possible because his skin its skin is very rough we can't tickle means no gentle touch uh, which make us to laugh like that so belinda tickled him she tickled him unmerciful means cruelly she is tickling him ink blink and mustard they rudely called him percival and you know that uh, in society in you know, any any family someone is very timid or um, you know weak person or weak uh, fellow then we make fun of him that is the actually this is not the good role of any um, family member but it it has been done right now in family so percival miss and they tease uh, him tease uh, 
dragon custard a knight of uh, miss percival percival means percival is a knight of king arthur court who sought holy grail so they tease him with the percival the name of the percival they all sat laughing in the little red wagon and all these three all sat in the uh, little red wagon with laugh they laughing on him at the real real you truly you cowed dragon cowed dragon and again they have said that you are really truly cowardly dragon it's very coward person that dragon is very coward belinda giggled till she shook the house and when she see dragon custard dragon then she giggled giggled means what laughter big laughter belinda giggled till she shook the house miss that much she laughed by her laughter total house get shaking okay that much she laughed because of its timidness and blink said weak okay with his giggle, giggling for a mouse and what blink said weak weak which is giggling for a mouse ink and must rudely ask his age what is your age you are so timid you are so coward what is your age you are so small even though you are looking so strong you are so heighted but uh, you are not acting like that so what is your age when custard cried for a nice safe cage and when he asked i want to live somewhere in a very small uh, nice safe cage then uh, these two miss uh, mustard and ink rudely asked him what is your age in this age when you are looking so strong then to you are finding for the safe cage okay so this is what the description of the dragon here so we will going to we are going to learn this poem in two part in the first part we will see we have already seen that the description about the each and every character of the poem okay so we have seen how is the belinda uh, belinda belinda is a small girl who lives with a uh, four pet uh, in a small white house and who are there who are who were uh, her pet ink blink mustard and custard in that we have seen that it's a ballad and ink is a black kitten then blink is a gray mouse mustard is a yellow dog and custard is a dragon okay <coughs> and she has nicely depicted her uh, pet black kitten how she is also brave gray mouse also brave yellow dog also brave but who actually looks so you know powerful strong who is not at all brave who is very very timid and uh, she giggled both all all these three four uh, characters belinda then ink blink and mustard make fun of his timidness okay all are like uh, tiger lion or bear but he is very very timid that he wanted to find out some small cage to live in so that he can be very safe so this is the first part of the poem uh, in which we have see we have seen the introduction of the character and how they were and what exactly they do okay what are their character sketch and what are their nature and how um, they you know make it make fun of dragon that we have seen you might have understood this first part of the poem so you have to write down the uh, difficult words which we have seen in this poem and also you have to write down the summary till now also you have to write down about the ballad which i have so, uh, said that ballad means a poem which narrates the heroism or courageous tale okay so this is the uh, tale of dragon so it is a ballad okay so that much you might have understood so till then bye bye thank you